All right, so I'll be discussing the movie Lucy. Uh, you can go straight to the Wikipedia page. Type in Lucy, the film, and it should pop up. Um, these, I'm going to decipher the names that they listed. They usually only list the most important names, even though they have other characters. Um, after I do that, I'll talk about the movie. So if you haven't seen the movie, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It's pretty much uh, straightforward. All right, so the main character name is Lucy. Uh, which means light or born at dawn or born at daylight. Richard means strong ruler, strong power, strong leader. Um, uh, I, I define professor, but prof uh, played by Morgan Freeman is Professor Samuel Norman. You pretty much know professor is like a person who declares openly, basically a person who professes. So profess means to testify, to uh, open declarely, I mean to declare openly and so on and so forth, uh, or uh, an instructor. Uh, Samuel means the name of God or instructed by God. The name Norman is really a surname. Um, it just means, um, sir just means, S-I-R means sire. Uh, S-U-R, S-I-R, and S-I-R-E, just the same thing. It means the person who uh, gave birth to you or fathered you. So the, or basically it's your last name in these modern times. So the surname Norman means North Man or Man from the North. Okay. The detective name was Pierre Del Rio. Pierre is a French version of the name Peter, which means rock. Del Rio is Spanish, means from or of the river. Uh, Mr. Jang is just basically a Korean surname. They really didn't have anything on it. Uh, so it's just like using Chang or Zhang. Um, so those are the main characters. Uh, so let me just add to it. Uh, you can look at this video in conjunction with my Lucifer video, my Satan video. Uh, I did a video on paying tithes. Tithe means 10%. So this movie is about paying tithes or starting off with 10% and going to 100% brain power. Um, you also want to look at my 666 melanin video because in the end she turned into a blob or melanin. Um, anything else? Any other videos? So yeah, just check out the Satan video, the Lucifer video, the 666 video, and the paying tithes video. And that should uh, help you a little bit more with this video. So this is a pretty straightforward movie. Um, if you go on Wikipedia, some of the numbers that come out is that uh, Lucy was 25 years old. There's no point of that in the story. It's no, actually, it has nothing to do with the story. So they do this stuff like that on purpose just to show you. Numerology is very important. Um, so 25, of course, is 2 plus 5, which is 7. So 7 is the physical or exterior completed. completed. You know, 12 is the uh, spiritually completed. So the number seven just means you are basically physically complete or outwardly complete. So that's what that symbolizes. Uh, there were four drug mules, mules, including Lucy. So she was the fourth. So four is a number for the world. Um, um, the four elements, so on and so forth. Uh, she also had the, the drugs. Had a, it was the drugs were in a suitcase. The combinations was one four zero. So that's five. So we dealing with the five senses. Um, so that's basically your lower nature. Remember, your lower nature is uh, basically based on uh, what, what you can do with your five senses. Uh, so it has nothing to do with spirituality. It's all about physical stuff. Um, so this movie is about your higher and lower nature, which is most of these movies really about. All right. So I'm going to break down some of the, basically based on the story. If you haven't seen the movie, it probably won't make sense to you. But in the beginning, it's basically uh, Richard and Lucy. Richard is uh, Lucy's boyfriend, but they were only dating for a week. He he had a suitcase in his hand. She wouldn't tell. He wouldn't tell her what was in it. Uh, he ended up basically making her carry the suitcase in. It was his job. He said it was his third time finna do this. So it was his job. He ended up tricking her, basically overpowering her. Because I told you his his name it doesn't really signify leader. He was really wasn't a leader unless you, he led her into trouble. You can say, but he basically was a strong power. He overpowered her and and put the hand and, and handcuffed the suitcase to her and made her go uh, into the hotel. All right, so that's his character. Then he got shot, so he's done for the movie. So Lucy meaning light. So it's not necessarily the same as Lucifer. Lucifer is the light bearer, which is the pineal gland. Lucy here kind of plays the Christ figure. Because remember, I told you in the Bible, um, Lucifer is known as the morning star. But Jesus says, I am the morning star. You know, Jesus represents the sun. I told you, and the morning star is Venus. Uh, so in, in astrology, Venus can be seen right before sunset. I mean, right before sunrise and right after sunset. So it's kind of like a, a light you can see, and uh, but the sun overpowers it. So that's the uh, uh, astronomy version of it. But in the Bible, it's basically Jesus saying, I am the real light or the stronger light. 
that, that comes up in the morning. Um, so she's playing the light or the Christ part of the, in this, okay? Who's um, who really hasn't been activated yet? You know, because so, you only uh, got ten percent, ninety percent of your brain is subconscious mind, which is not activated. All right. So she ended up going into the hotel and meeting Mr. Jang. Jang can be considered the king. Well, he he's basically uh, the king. I, I'm gonna hold up the Kabbalah Tree of Life. So you have ten emanations or ten sephirah. He basically represents down here the kingdom. He's the king or the physical of the lower nature because he's of the of the four the four mules. Four means the world. So this is the world or the kingdom. Malkuth. Um, the mule is another word for ass. I told you set, which later became Satan, is an ass-headed deity. So your lower natures or your first three chakras are ruled by Satan or set. So he's basically the ruler, the king of the kingdom and the ruler of the mules on the physical world. The four, which is the, the world. All right. So that's what he represents. Um, so the story goes, they put the drugs in her and three other people. Uh, when she got to her destination, she was kicked in the stomach. Okay, so this is your abdomen. Remember, I told you in another video, you have two brains. You have neurons in your stomach. So use your stomach for intuition. You use your other, your first brain for intellect. So you basically had that gut feeling. So this, it was basically symbolic of her getting, when she got kicked in the stomach, that activated her, her instinct, her intuition. And um, which activated drugs. That so was the symbology or the allegory of the story. And then it shot up to her brain, her, her first brain. So her first brain, her second brain was working together. All right, so it's that gut feeling that you that you might get or butterflies in your stomach, all that stuff. That's what they're talking about. Those nerves that's inside your stomach. Because um, your nerve, uh, I mean, your stomach activates uh, separately from your, uh, your uh, mind. It'll still digest whether your brain is working or not. Just FYI. So just if you want to Google some more information on that, Google second brain or, or brain in the stomach. You'll get more uh, information on that. Um, I already told you the mule represents the ass or the lower nature. I talked about that in another video. Uh, and, and Mr. Jang is the king or the boss of the lower nature. So he's basically representing Satan in this uh, video or the bottom. So that brings me to Professor Northman. Um, remember, he's the name of God. He professes the name of God. And he's the, he's the one instructed by God. So basically, he's the messenger to who? Lucy, which is the light. So he's, he's, he's God's messenger or the angel to Lucy. All right. So he's trying to enlighten her. So he's the man from the north. I told you in my Santa Claus video, that's basically an allegory for St. Nick is at the North Pole, which is at the top of your head. When you travel down, he becomes Santa or Satan. So those are lower natures. So that's St. Nick and Satan. So we're dealing with the same thing. Or Lucifer against Satan. That's what this movie is really about. All right. The name Samuel means, <clears throat> I told you, instructed by God. So he became a professor or an instructor. All right. The other character, the main character, is Pierre Del Rio. That's a detective that she enlisted to help her. Uh, they never really, they must have edited this out. I'm pretty sure it's a part of the story, but they took it out. I think they were supposed to have sex. It just seems like he made a different ending. But it seemed like the point of really picking him was they were supposed to procreate. And that's how they was going to keep this uh, this DNA or this uh, super um, memory. Uh, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Basically to continue the evolution of this uh, 100%. So Pierre is basically a French version of the name Peter, which means rock. Remember, Peter uh, took over the disciples after um, Jesus uh, transfigured or whatever have you. So he's basically the foundation. So um, once again, on the Kabbalah Tree of Light, he represents right above the foundation, sufferer number nine, Yassad. So this is your genital area. If I show, I told you this on, um, this is the two ball cane, the Masonic uh, third degree password. So I told you this, this is the land of milk and honey. So this is where all your genitals are, the milk. Is your uh, milk and honey is your prostate gland and so on and so forth. So that's what it secretes. So Pierre is representing the Yassad or her foundation. So um, they, they they left that part out of the movie. They were supposed to have sex, I believe. I thought that's which way it was going. Then it went another way. At the end, she just ended up making herself into a com uh, computer flash drive and gave it to uh, Professor Norman. All right, Del Rio means of the river. So anytime you hear river, you're talking about... Um, Basically, your, but really your body in general. The uh, River Jordan is pretty much, uh, or the Red Sea, anything with water is pretty much your body. Your body is uh, 75 to 85 percent water. So we pump pretty time with your torso in particular. Um, so uh, that's what a second degree password came from. Shibboleth is when people couldn't pr pronounce Shibboleth. Shibboleth, they they pronounce it with a s sibboleth sign. So you can find that in Judges. Um, 
that's another Mason Masonic password, Sibboleth and Shibboleth. Uh, I think it's Judges, uh, just look up Shibboleth, S-H-I-B-B-O-L-E-T-H, uh, in the Bible, and then it'll give you Judges chapter 5 or 6 or something like that, I can't remember. All right, so that's what the river, Jordan, or any river, or any body of water, it's how much a body of water. All right, so he's basically the rock or the foundation of the body. So he's basically t talking about he's at the foundation. So he's not at the tail. He's not at your tailbone like your Lord desires. He's pretty much that second chakra, which deals with sexuality. So he has a choice to either go down into the physical lower body or to the first chakra or use that and go up to the North man or Norman. All right, and enlighten or contribute to the higher things like get Lucy off of this drug mule or this lower nature of hers. Um... So some of the notes I took, uh, so basically when she opened up the suitcase with the combination equal to number five, we're just talking about activating the five senses, heighten, heightening the five senses, I should say. So her sense of smell and hearing and everything got heightened. So she basically, she went from that fifth five senses to her sixth sense. That's what the, really, the movie is really about. Um, even though she's basically didn't know all along, she's pretty much complete being a number seven already. Um, they call the drug CPH4. If you do some uh, research online, they try to say it was CF4, tetrafluoromethane. Um, I don't think that's it. I'll tell you my what I think it is. Luke Besson, Beeson, whatever, the director, he says the molecule is real. It's basically uh, when women are six months pregnant, it, uh, it, it's a molecule that they create. He didn't really say the name of it, he, uh, but he alluded to the fact that it was real. Matter of fact, he said it was real, but he said he made up the name CPH4. All right. I think the P-H really means phosphorus. So I want you to look up the word phosphorus. It's a Greek word meaning light bearer. So it's the Latin version of Lucifer, which means morning star of Venus. So that makes more sense. I think the four was just thrown on that. So, I, you know, they do these movies and try to throw people off because it's meant to go, only go to certain select people, which is mostly they either, I don't know what they want to call the Illuminati, whatever they want to call them, or the Masonic, Mason, whoever. I don't like to group people into groups. And the word Illuminati, it may refer to the 13 families, but it just means illumination. You, you can be Illuminati, you can be illuminated or enlighten yourself. All right. Um, in the beginning, Mr. Yang, when, when, when Lucy first got upstairs in the room, Mr. Yang was in the back. Uh, he had just killed some people, presumably, because he had blood all over his hands and face. He walked out. You know, little, little messages are subtle, but he washed his hands with water, in particular, Avion water. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Evian brand, if you look at it, it's spelled, it's naive, spelled backwards. So I just pointed that out. It's just something I broke down. Naive means refreshingly innocent, extremely simple and trusting, inexperienced. So basically, he was just showing he was the opposite of that. He was acting like he was naive to the fact that what, what, what she was seeing in the room, like nothing just happened. So it was symbolic of him washing his hands of blood as if uh, I didn't do that, you know. Um, so that's just, that's just a little petty thing they put in there. It could have been any type of water. They picked certain things on purpose. So this is type of, I'm, I'm pointing these things out so you can start breaking down these movies on your own uh, if, if this is something you're interested in doing. And then that'll help you, like I said, carry on to breaking down some of the symbology of your dreams if you're keeping a dream journal. I already pointed out that. Da, da, da. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much drawing out uh, nothing. So at the end, she turned into this black blob, which is basically melanin, chaos, it's chaotic. Uh, it's Negrito or the blackening, they go that nigga word again. So it's the first step, if you look up uh, Negrito, it's basically the first step in uh, the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone, once again, um, the stone that's supposed to give you immortality. We're just talking about your uh, pineal gland again. Uh, so it's just, you can look up that in uh, Wikipedia, Negrito. Uh, uh, that's the first stage in alchemy. Uh, I pointed out once before, any movie with, dealing with the Blob, you go look to the old movie Blob, they got a 1988 remake of the 1958 one, but the Blob is pretty much just a blob of melanin. Just look at the plot, you can, you can Google, that's in Wikipedia also, and the only thing it was adverse to was the cold, that's how they so-called stopped it momentarily. Um, so that's basically, you know, melanin absorbs uh, energy, all form. anything black absorbs all colors, anything white doesn't hold any color. So. Uh, that, I mean, it releases all colors, I should say. It doesn't retain energy. So that's what, that's what colors are. Whenever, whatever color you see, that's the only color that can be held. So if you see blue, that's because that, that, that wave frequency can be held. <clears throat> all right? So the color black means that all colors are, are being absorbed. That's what black holes are. So that's what, your, uh, that's what your melanin does, your melanocytes that give you color. All right? So uh, if you look at the movie Blob, color, uh, it's basically saying that anything like that just can't take the cold because the absence of sunlight is basically what they were trying to say in the blob movies. 
uh, I just pointed out. So this is just extra stuff. You can, you can Google that. Also the Holy Kaaba. So you know in Mecca they do that pilgrimage where they go around seven times. They go to number seven again. Uh, the Kaaba is basically a meteorite that supposedly fell out the sky and they worship it as the cornerstone of, of the, it's a cornerstone on that building. That big building is the Kaaba, but it's a little bitty stone that they kiss and it kind of looks like a vagina. So they go around. If you get close enough, there, most of the people will kiss it. But you gotta, it's called the Hajj, it's in Mecca, something like that. They go around seven times. So that's that Ka and Ba, told you Abra, Kadabra, and all that said. So there's different aspects of the soul again. And another character in the Jungle Book, so you know, for people who read those stories or let their children watch those cartoons, the character Ka is a serpent god or a cobra or a snake. So this, that's what this movie is really about, about your Kundalini or lower nature. Uh, your Satan nature or uh, whatever you want to call it that that dragon and all the all, uh, fairy tales basically trying to raise that up to your pineal gland which is Lucifer and bring out that light which is Lucy alright so I just pretty much stress this one like I said the movie is short it's really straight to the point it really wasn't it was okay but uh, that's about as deep as it get so hope you enjoy what I want you to do is what I'm going to do is break down this other movie it's an old movie from 1989 called the dark city so go get you get you a heads up go ahead and go look at the dark city if you can it got Kiefer Sutherland in it as a scientist Kiefer Sutherland the dark city he's not the main character but he's one of the main characters so I want you to check that movie out because it's really about what this page is about using your mind or subconscious mind or the dark part of your mind to uh change your reality through your will. Check out Dark City, I'm gonna break that movie down. So, this is it's a little bit better than this movie. So, if you're really into getting into magic. All right, thank you.